Nick is gonna be excited. So, magbabasa ako ng mga comments nyo. Yan ang pinakamiss ko nagirinig, honestly. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today, magbibake tayo ng healthy oatmeal cookies with apples and carrots. Perfect na perfect to para sa ating mga chikiting for kids and even for us. Para naman mas healthier, we are going to use all natural ingredients na mahanap mo sa inyong pantry. So, let's start! Okay, first ingredient, one cup quick oats na grenade natin sa blender or food processor. If you have rolled oats, you can use that too. One cup gluten-free baking flour. Kung wala kayong gluten-free, you can use regular whole wheat flour or regular APF. One cup raisins. Some people will use golden raisins. Okay na sa regular raisins. And then one large carrot and then half a cup of apples. We're gonna grate this para fresh. And half a cup of coconut oil melted. And we also have honey. We're gonna use a third cup of honey. Any honey will do. And also a teaspoon of baking powder and cinnamon. So, i-grate na natin ang ating carrots and apple. Okay, so I already preheated the oven to 375 degrees. Kailangan mo ng baking sheet and either silpat or parchment paper or aluminum foil. I'm using the silpat. Normally, pag nagbibake ako, yun ang ginagamit ko. So now, just get a clear bowl or any bowl that you may have and we're going to mix all our dry ingredients. Ang ating oatmeal, um, flour, and also the gluten-free flour. So mix it. And then we are going to add the baking powder and cinnamon. Baking powder and cinnamon. Mix it all together. Ooh. I love making healthy cookies because I can Anika and you're still using sweeteners, right? Like honey, but at least it's more natural. So you won't feel as bad kesa yung mga highly brown sugar and all of that. So this is really good kasi it's also dairy free and it could be for uh, vegans since wala tayong eggs, we're not using any um, dairy, walang butter or you know and the oil that we're using is coconut oil which is super super good for you. So once na mix na natin ang dry ingredients, let's go ahead and add our carrots and the apples. So I love the apples. Very juicy siya pag grenade mo. So that's gonna add flavor to your cookies. And magdadagdag siya nung, um, it's like applesauce, diba? Like when you put applesauce, um, sometimes you replace your oil or your butter with applesauce. So with this one, masarap lang na fresh yung ginamit natin. So we're gonna mix this a little bit and then maya maya, we're gonna use our hands to really, you know, mix this um, dough and then add your raisins and then the oil and the honey a third cup yung honey natin pag medyo dry yung or hard yung honey mo just add a little bit of water to make it thinner Ooh, third cup Alright, so honey, there you go. And if you don't have honey, you can use maple syrup. Mas runny ang maple syrup. I'm just gonna mix it. To, so make sure na malinis ang kamay mo. <laughs> so we're just gonna mix it all together. And you guys can grab a ice cream scooper, like, or you can just use a regular tablespoon. To measure so we can put it sa ating baking sheet. Some parts are a little wet and crumbly so we want to make sure that when you mix it na wala masyadong dry and wala masyadong wet. Alright. 
Perfect. So, mm, bango ng coconut oil. I love, 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 love using coconut oil. And imagine, super healthy because if your kids hindi ko makain ng fruits or ng carrots, this is the perfect way to add it, diba? And mas less guilty ang feeling because we're not using mga additives or any store-bought na cookies, diba? It's still better pag talagang, you know, homemade ang mga binibigay natin sa ating kids. Alright? Now, I just got a tablespoon. Kung wala tayo yung mini um, cookie dough scooper, not cookie dough, ice cream <laughs> scooper, then use this. So, what you want to do is just roll it into a ball. Make sure you leave at least mga one inch ng space. See, perfect consistency. Roll into a ball. So excited to try this. Super yummy. Anika's gonna be excited. So kayo, mga mommies, what are your favorite um, healthy recipes na ginagawa niyo for your kids? I would like to know para pwede ko rin siyang gawin um, whenever I have free time to bake or me and Anika can actually, you know, bake it together. Like yung mga vegan dishes na ginagawa namin. Pag medyo crumbly, you guys can probably add some oil or a little bit of honey all right perfect this is probably good for two to three days and again you guys can probably make at least 24 cookies with this recipe so you guys can enjoy this with your family during the weekends um you guys can bake this together and again for the whole Red ingredients, um, we only use a third cup of honey. We didn't use like half a cup of sugar and all of that. So we're getting the sweets, the natural the natural flavor from the raisins. Cause ang raisins is naturally matamis na, right? So you know. Perfect na perfect shot. We're just gonna press it down. Ni naman all the way. Ni naman super flat. <laughs> just flatten a little bit. We're going to bake this for about 18 to 20 minutes. Again, at 375 degrees. Okay, so meanwhile, have a naghihintay tayo for our healthy oatmeal cookies. Magbabasa ako ng mga comments nyo. And I just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about anxiety, depression, so I will actually um, vlog about this since this month is about mental health and awareness and all of that. So I will answer all your questions sa mga um, nagko comments or anything sa IG or even here on YouTube. We will talk about that sa aking me time with Mitch, sacking wellness content, right? So someone said, some can spare a few hours in the morning, others can only work out towards the end of their day. So when is the best time to work out? Um, honestly, whatever works for you. For me, I manage my time, so I make sure na sa umaga ko siya ginagawa. For some people, yes, if you can't do it first thing in the morning, then of course, you'll have to do it after work, but you have to make sure that you're setting an appointment for that specific hour to yourself. Think of it as para kabukutan ng doctor. That, let's say, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. workout time appointment plan to yourself and it's a promise that you made to yourself. So make sure na pupuntahan mo yan. Floor, floor. How do you keep your body toned? Um, stay safe and healthy. Again, the guys in my vlogs ko, I don't really do any special diets. Um, I just eat what feels good for my body. I'll have treats here and there, but I train at least four to five times a week. Right now, I'm actually training for a competition here in Austin, and medyo mas nag change in diet ko. Mas more on higher protein, and I'm, you know, protein shakes. I'm drinking post-workout stuff. I'm adding new supplements. But yeah, the food, same. I'm, I'm still consuming carbs. For carbs, I'll probably have sweet potatoes. I'll have vegetables. And then for meats, um, I'll have seafood, steak, or grilled chicken. So very, very basic, pero um, I make sure na, you know, I put herbs and spices to make it good. Hindi ako makain ng bland na pagkain. That's how you can 
stay within that type of diet and you can it's more sustainable than eating talagang walang lasang boiled chicken or something right so make sure na may lasa yung pagkain nyo Arj Rob you're an influencer Miss Michelle one of my fave vloggers that's really inspirational and helpful thanks so much for the tips and everything thank you thank you thank you thank you look by MKS I admire how you discipline yourself in terms of your fitness I just got back to my normal exercise because I'm not really consistent about my movement activities thanks for sharing again thank you thank you thank you um, La Gramada, I love you girl every time I watch every time I watch you I love seeing your vlog because I got a lot I get a lot of life lessons and inspirations from you thank you um yeah honestly when I started my vlog buntis ako and I didn't really know you know where this would go I just like started cooking videos because that's what I like that's one of my passions and yeah, I just wanted to share you my recipes ko while I was at home, buntes. And then now we've definitely evolved. And honestly, I try to use my platform para naman to inspire you guys and to you know um to help you guys out sa buhay, whether it be motherhood, fitness, you know, influencer is such a huge word. But feeling ko um sobrang natutuwa ako whenever I read your message and pag sasabi niyo na inspire ako sa yo dahil sa yo na tutunan ko yung ganito. Ganyan, or because of you, nag start ako ng fitness goals. Yan ang totoong influencer because for me, I'm actually helping you change your lives. So I'm very, very thankful for that. So yeah, I'll read two more and then titig na ko na baka nasunug na yung aking cookies. <laughs> Chancy, you are my fitness inspiration. I really love this topic since habit ko rin talaga ang fitness lifestyle. Thank you so much for sharing. This is yung, um, yung vlog ko about. Um, let's talk about food and fitness. So I know a lot of you guys ask me tungkol dyan. Book request, can you read Commotion in the Ocean by Gals Andrea in your next video please thank you so i'm currently reading like three books right now leadership by john maxwell david goggins which is you can't hurt me and then one is the devotional book which is purpose driven life by rick warren pag natapos ko na yung tatlo na yon, then maybe i'll read this um i'm always open for suggestions and comments um uh, galing sa inyo syempre kung nabasa niyo na um i like hearing from other people so yeah Again, yun lang muna for this portion. Next vlog ko will be about mental health. So um, if you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Thank you again sa lahat ng messages niyo. Okay, so we're just gonna let these cool for like 10 minutes and we're gonna try them out. This is it. I will try it out. Oh. Oh. Mm? So, it's a little more dry. <laughs> um, what I would do is add a little bit of honey. More um, apples, like grated apples or applesauce. Para hindi siya ganun ka dry. But other than that, I'm gonna baba him. So, if you guys would like to make this for your kids, let me know. Tag me. Um, again, this is a healthy breakfast or snack cookie for your kids, especially if you don't want to eat gulai. Um, I mean, like carrots and all of that. So, dito pwede mong ilagay yon, itago mo, and it's still kind of like a treat for them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for all your support. 